Hey guys, it's Ryan here again with All Mine Ranch. So, <laughs> been a lot of projects being completed these last couple days. Um, I got my floor in, subfloor. So look, no more big gaping hole, no more pit in the middle of my house. Nothing but subfloor. I still do have to run plumbing underneath it, but at least I've got a good surface to walk on. And I'm not going to give you a walkthrough yet, but I actually have my layout <laughs> showing where a closet's gonna be, where the toilet's gonna be, bathroom vanity, a shower where the trash can is, a washer dryer over here. This will be my bedroom in this corner. This is gonna be a pantry in here. And these three power tools represent the kitchen islands, the kitchen cabinetry, living room over there, office over here, and this entire central area, whoops, there we go. The entire central area will just be open living space. And I think right here against this wall, I'm gonna have a cabinet. I said I'm not gonna give you a full walkthrough, but I practically just did. Uh, right in here is gonna be a cabinet where the power is gonna come in, where I'll have a breaker box, all of my batteries for my off-grid solar array. So basically power is gonna come in from the panels here, go through an inverter and then distribute out, you know, the AC outlets throughout the house. So that's the tentative plan. But today I need to get my solar panels. I'm using 12 of them right now for my tiny house. I need to get them into a rack. And instead of buying hardware, like mounting hardware and rails, aluminum rails that most people do for solar, I'm gonna use these four by fours. God, that's really bright. I don't even know if you can see this. But I'm gonna cut a channel in this four x four and basically make a giant four x four picture frame uh, with open sides that I can then slide the panels into. So they will go basically in this little, can you see that? <laughs> Probably not. In the groove that's gonna be right here, that's gonna be about an inch and an eighth deep. And, um, and then I'll put the end caps on and then that whole thing will go up off the ground at an angle, etc. So it's a prototype. Uh, I can do three panels at a time. It's going to be huge. It's going to be heavy and a little bit expensive, but um, I just didn't want to mess with nuts and bolts and all that crap. I'd rather just use deck screws and big four by fours and have big bulky but still movable solar panel racks. So that's what I'm going to work on. So I'm going to uh, dive into it and take some pics and uh, show you how that process goes. Okay. Okay, so I just made two passes with the saw. You can see I did one side, ripped it all the way down. I had to pause halfway down the board and move my clamp that was in the way. And then uh, went to the other side, came back down the other way. And as you can see, it's pretty bright. But there's the depth of my cut right there. Um, now I have to <laughs> come back and make multiple passes. I could do it with a router. Maybe I will, but I haven't used a router in quite a while and it'd take me a while to get it set up and find the right bit. Or I could just um, move my little blade guide, my little edge guide thing and um, come in and make multiple passes. Ooh, there's a big hawk outside. I love the hawks around here. Uh, make multiple passes, get out all the center, you know, all this material between the, the two lines of the cut. Come back down here. Get rid of all this material in here. And then uh, chisel out the remaining material. Hey guys, okay, so after about two and a half hours of work, I finally have my beam with a channel in it. It's a little bit ugly, especially on the ends, because it's hard to control the depth. It's hard to do. <laughs> it's hard to control the depth of the blade when you're running off the end. But I've got a relatively clean channel in the rest of it. My solar panel edge goes in there cleanly. So I'm now setting up my saw, horses, and the next piece 
This one's a little less twisted, so hopefully it'll go easier. Um, but I'm running out of power since I'm pulling power from my cargo trailer solar system. So I'm having to hook up the generator to feed the cargo trailer because it's down to 60%. And doing this with the circular saw and then the router, it's pulling a lot of juice. And I actually think I've almost fried out the bearings on my cheapo Chicago Electric 1999 special circular saw. I'm gonna fire up the generator, plug it in, and just start, you know, making a whole lot of grooves up and down this thing. Um, then I go with the chisel and break it all out and then clean it up. Um, you might think it's easier to do it on a table saw, but with such heavy beams and working alone, beams, it's only a four by four, but they're pretty wet and they're 10 feet long. They get a lot of weight. Um, and with the twist and the curvature, that's hard to get a good channel and push a 10 foot um, four by four through a table saw consistently over and over again. And uh, so I just don't, I've thought about it and I've debated it. And I do want to use my new table saw that I bought last week, but uh, I think this is a better way to do it. So uh, I'm going to get started on this beam and uh, we'll see how that comes out. And this is the, I only have to do two because the other ones don't have to be grooved in any way. They'll just be for, you know, foundational support. Hey guys, I'm going to cut the video off right there and do a part two and a part three. Otherwise, it's going to end up being a half hour long video and you probably don't want that. Um, so anyway, that was how I prepared the 4x4 channels uh, to receive the um, solar panels. And in the next video, which I'll be posting in just a couple of days, so make sure you subscribe if you're not already, I will uh, basically build the whole darn thing. And uh, there's going to be a part three that shows you how I make that a repeatable process and uh, fine tune it and improve the whole system. Them. And happy New Year. It's uh it's New Year's Day, New Year's morning, which is why I'm wearing this. It's really cold out, it's rainy, it's blustery, it's cold. We're gonna get a hard freeze tonight down into the high 20s. So anyway, uh good times to start off the new year. But thanks for watching, see you soon.